Audio rolling. We're on time. Shut up. We did it. Yeah, nothing's happening. We totally made it, guys. We're three minutes early. They're just starting early, if anything. It occurs to me that this might be on uncompressed because I didn't send anything. I just opened it really quickly. So freaking. Yeah, you know what? Let's check that really fast. Also, I can't hear any audio. Hold on. Here we go. Here, you guys mess with that. Video gonna go dark for about 20 seconds. This is dreams or something. Like Sega dreams? No, like the oh. like the guys who make um uh, the guys who make Little Big Planet oh, dreams. Yeah. They they announced this like when the PlayStation Four came out, and we haven't seen anything of it in like two years. So this is dreams. All right, now capture start. Great. Ah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great. This okay, is okay. So really... this, yeah, this isn't even the start of the. Oh, conference. Okay. okay. All right. Very nice. That it's just was like a little opening. okay. I was a little bit confused as to why they would open with this image. That felt very wee music of them. <laughs> no, that would come at the end. Ping. <laughs> so is this little creature? Is this PlayStation's mascot that we see in like the playroom? And I, yeah, stuff? I think this is the playroom thing, isn't it? That that he's been nowhere else, just in the playroom. Do people? Is it relevant at all? I don't know. No, it, 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 could, it could be not him. I don't know. Okay, so so Joey, you missed uh, Ubisoft and Square. I did. Uh, you missed nothing by missing Square. Oh, the one thing you should you'll care about is a uh, new Platinum game was I, announced, I but we nothing that. was shown. Yeah, just no, they're I watched working the trailer on something. And I was like, all right, well, if it wasn't Platinum, I wouldn't think anything about it. But it's Platinum. Yeah. So and then there was I'm there was sure one other fine. new game announced. We still haven't seen the Avengers project. We still haven't seen the Guardians of the Galaxy game that they're working on supposedly, and we haven't seen uh, Left a, whatever it's called. Left Alive or something. That's not the name of it. It's the, um, whatever the name of the mech game with the Metal Gear artist working as the character yeah, designer. Yeah. I think if we don't see nothing, if we, if we don't see one of those four, Guardians hey, of the Galaxy, Avengers, Left Alive or whatever it's called, or FF7 Remake during this, if we don't see one of those during this, I'm, something I'm is terribly FF7. wrong. We're not. We're gonna see the same trailer I we thought, saw before. I thought that that was a lock for Square's presentation. I thought there was no way that they couldn't. <laughs> You naive child. Again, like I t we talked about it during the video, like if there's nothing to show, then I would, you know, like if it, there's nothing to show, then you don't show anything. It's but okay. Square shows stuff even when they have nothing. It's okay. You at least called the the Nintendo so crossover Bethesda with last Ubisoft, year. huh? So it was Bethesda last yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. I don't Basically. know. Ma maybe this means that Square is learning their lesson and they're not showing something when they have nothing. But then they shouldn't have had a conference. Yeah. They showed two trailers for Kingdom Hearts that were functionally identical. They had like three new shots in the second one. That was it. And and they and were like all and they were dialogue. all lines of dialogue that unless unless you're going, hey, where is that character's body from six games ago? Then the dialogue will be meaningless to you, and only the hardest of hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans will even pose that question. Yeah. I just want to state the more I oh oh that, never mind you don't get say, to state it anything. It was a very strange scene. Shut your mouth. Sorry. E3 is a strange scene, Joey. Ah, uh, you're not wrong. E3 is my favorite time of the year. Well, this is different. Okay. What? Um, why is everybody mixing up their? They're in the big top. Why is everyone mixing up their stages this they're year? They're in the big top. At least. Hey guys. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. Sean Layden's gonna take is us this... to church. I was on the say. And thank you for making the time tonight to uh, to come to church. <laughs> <laughs> This fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. <laughs> um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman. Oh, no. This, it, just, it doesn't end that way. It doesn't end that way. So, but again, thank you. Um, and as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell to tell and, and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles We've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. You know, what we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with Inside Sony Interactive Entertainment, we really want to take our love. So why for is this in a church? And make it sing, I don't know. And make it sing very loudly. 
Um, it's a gaming industry, it's sometimes called, but certainly inside our studios, we see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. It's what we do, it's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you and places they'd like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we they even have the candles left over. Yeah, yeah this fine. is very interesting. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So Only an hour, wow. Then, there, then maybe that, it's like they were saying <coughs> there would supposedly still be space for indie <coughs> games and some third party games. So that probably means 10 minutes on the four and then 20 minutes for other stuff. Who knows? Something like that. 12 minutes for each and then 10 minutes we'll for a wrap up. We'll see. Is that Hideo? I think it's, it might be Norman Reedus. I didn't see who it was. I was he, I'm sure he introduced them and I just didn't notice. No. No. Um, it's this Banjo is the Last Man. of Us introduction. Sing us a song. You're the Banjo Man. I was going to say, Best Friends Pat nailed it talking about Sean Layden. Is like, we, everybody, no, no, everybody used to go like, eh, man, screw you, businessman. And now we're at the point where it's like, yes, please, Sean Layden, yes. businessman, tell us the facts and then move on. <laughs> Free bird. <laughs> Someone scream free bird. Yeah, see, this is uh, The Last of Us. I kind of like this setting. It's really kind of... It's ominous. It's homey, o ominous, but also kind of just like under, low-key. It's not the UFC fighting arena from the Bethesda one. Yeah, we've, we've seen some interesting <laughs> stages this time around. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be like an audience participation component or something. Like, it's like we're gonna take you deep into all of these worlds with you today. And they just throw them in the Oh my the gosh! TV. No, it's literally like the doors open. It's like come this way. Yeah, I, I was thinking. It's I was like an amusement park. Yeah, I was thinking about the entryway into Nintendo's booth two years ago mm -hmm. to get into the yeah. Zelda show. You sat in a little arena and watched a video, and then the doors opened up and you walked into Zelda Land. Hang on, is this dude's jacket have two? Okay, no, that's like a pocket zipper. Nah, you were, you wanted Nomura. Like, hmm. You wanted Nomura. You're not gonna I, I get did. it today. Yeah, no Nomura today, apparently. <laughs> he apologized Which for, Nomura, the, for the... Like the, the Nomura with Final Fantasy or that new site? Tetsuya Nomura of Kingdom no, Hearts I, and Final I'm Fantasy. Make, I'm making oh, the oh, joke. You, I, missed, I missed your second... State, you were, no, I just... I spoke so fast that I missed your second option, which was... Which was the marketing, <laughs> the no Asian Mara. marketing solutions site that they accidentally linked to on Twitter. We got jokes tonight, fellas. God, the, Jacob only so that, understands half so of that, them. No, so that whole thing with the release date, we were talking about like, is that was that a mistake yeah. somehow? Like, <laughs> yeah. did, did that? Like, did they forget to edit that out of the end of the trailer? I assume that was what you meant when you were talking yeah, about no, no, there's no, conspiracy I was talking, theories I was to be like, had I here. I feel like either they didn't edit it out or that that was the wrong trailer. And, and it just shows the date, and then somebody is like, you know, has a quick phone call. Twitter guy, please get, get this out now. And then today, the Square Enix event, like, literally felt like someone hit stop 20 minutes early. Yeah. Like, at the very beginning, they even said, please stay tuned to the very end uh, to see uh, all of our most recent news. And then the last thing they showed was the same Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer they showed <laughs> previously. And then just a sizzle reel that was nothing and showed five games. It was baffling. Is he about to take his jacket off? And he's just gonna be like a Last of Us character. It's like, hello, I voice. I missed, I missed who it was, and they didn't give a title name, but it no. could it could have been like the composer of The Last of Us or something who does all the acoustic <clears throat> work. Okay, well let's watch The Last of Us. Yeah. <laughs> See, the problem with this is... Oh, that's ah. why. Oh! That's why. <clears throat> okay. That's why. Because this is a makeshift... This this is inside of the his brother's settlement. Right? Maybe. It no, absolutely. Because like, yeah. everything was yeah. nice at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, it's been a minute. Well, everything was nice, quote, in, in big quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. Is that Hideo Kojima? No. Dang it. 
I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into you today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, but not quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until we back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse. Hey, don't forget, we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the real, so, the problem, really, with them, uh, saying, oh, we're gonna do a deep dive into The Last of Us 2, like, that's great, because I'm sure this game will be very good, because I like the first one a lot, but yeah. I'm also like, guess what, it's gonna be The Last of Us 2. Yeah. yeah. There's only so much to really, I mean, if, if by deep dive all they meant was just a big story trailer, then that's fine. I thought they meant, like, a close look at the mechanics of this survival third-person shooter <laughs> with light crafting systems. Hey, maybe we'll be surprised. Who knows, we'll see. I doubt it, but who knows. Stay positive, you know? That's something I need to work on. <laughs> I mean, I'm positive about this game. I'm just, I was just a little bit skeptical when they were talking about their structure, and they said this would be one of the games. The guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. Or not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. It doesn't matter, it's just it shuts off automatically after a little while. Okay. That's fair. That as a, a, as a, noise as right a point there. of reference, yeah. as a point of <laughs> reference for anybody who doesn't know, um, it was never really confirmed, no, what am I talking about? It was confirmed in the DLC for the first game. Uh, point of issue presented in um, kind of like a brief stage play they did a while ago around all of this was Ellie is a lesbian, um, yeah. but there's obviously some pressure on uh, repopulating. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, uh, there's some there was some external pressure being placed on her to um, put the good of everybody before you know uh, her own tastes in people, essentially. Yeah, I might be misremembering some details because I only like read a transcript of that play and it was years ago and it was like you know, it was like a one scene play yeah. they did in an event basically. May she guide you. That's what that sign says. <clears throat> well, I'm still thinking about how they, when they were talking about this game a couple years ago, the director was like, if the theme of the first game was love, then the theme of the second game is hate. And I was like, that's not a good sign. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that first game was about love, was it? And this game's about hate. Hmm. And then they showed that really on, like, that, that trailer they showed at PSX last year or whenever, there was this scene, essentially. Not, not, it wasn't these guys, I don't think, but essentially, like, you know, this hanging somebody in torture setup. And I was like, I feel like I'm watching a snuff film right now. Yeah. Like, it was, it was uncomfortable, which is, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Why stab and hang? Because double, get as much as possible. Double coverage. Because again, I re I really, really do like the first Last of Us a lot, but certain things they've said about the direction of this game make me skeptical yeah. about how like how far they're trying to push it. And I'm like, you guys already did plenty last yeah. time around. But we'll it was see. already bold and out there. It doesn't need to be. I mean, you kind of risk alienating some of your fan base by taking it too far. We'll see. We'll see. It remains to be seen. 
Not saying that a hard M rating is not good for a lot of people. I'm saying... Uh, uh, oh, last game, I definitely had a hard M rating. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just saying taking it even further than, you know, like it you, might you be don't too need much. It. Yeah. Not in my opinion. We'll see. We will see. It, it, I mean, like, I'm yeah, not... because we don't, really, I, we don't I know, truly know the extent. I know I'm saying... Now I'm, I'm doing my, my natural, like, where I'm just automatically devil's advocate for things. Like, uh, I, to, I totally agree. Like, as I was just saying, I think it could be too much. But ultimately, it's going to come down to execution. And, like, how relevant actually is this to your yeah. themes? And most importantly, are those themes actually saying Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying I don't like the direction that it's going in. The first game actually had something really interesting to say, especially towards the ending. Whereas if it's just like, Ellie's mad and wants to kill, I'm like, okay, that's great. And everybody else around her also wants to kill. <laughs> it's either kill or be killed, because everyone wants to kill everyone this time, guys. Don't even try to avoid the battle, just murder. Just get those punch lasers going. That wouldn't kill, she just got him in the cheek. Dude, I love how, how she's barely go, lo lost any of her yeah. health after being shot I mean, even twice. Even if it went deep, it would have gone you... into like a tooth. So Joshua, as someone who never played or watched The Last of Us, you should be informed that while you don't die instantly in this game, you don't have regenerating health. You have to craft health packs. Okay, good. Yeah, you, die I was like, you die quick in this game. Because I was like, she, she's only lost like a third of her health. The hard modes in the vanilla twice. version of the game are hard, and then they added like even more hard modes into, uh, into the HD version that were like impossible. I like that this is an option. The question is how frequently and how and how under how many cars can you actually crawl? Yeah. And that seemed like a unique interaction. I don't know how much that would be. And like, is is this instant invisibility, or is there like an, an a chance that you'll be found underneath these things? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be Miller's Crossing. One in the knee and then one in the head. Never mind. That works too. I thought we were gonna go for a Miller's Crossing kill, but that's fine. I thought it was so a that's dude. what happens if you get found randomly. Yeah. So I guess I wasn't random. I thought she was. What were you gonna say, Josh? Nothing. It's, it's fine. I'm glad they're retaining the aiming is hard mechanic. Question is, because there's that—that that was a decent amount of like her real physical reacting to being injured, both in her run cycle and in the initial like animation of being hit, which makes me question um, how much. Like she still has that arrow in her shoulder. Yeah. So I wonder how much of that is trailer and how much of that is <clears throat> going to be in the game. Yeah. You don't take the arrow out. Okay, never mind. Too late now. Yeah, like that's that's the one thing in action movies I always get really upset about is you never take the. Especially an arrow, bullets maybe, but arrows you never take out. You don't pull. You don't pull that rebar if out. You, if you pull the arrow out, you're making a larger wound, and you're gonna bleed out faster. Yeah, especially and if you like leave it in, now, you don't bleed out because it seals the wound. Now it's a little bit different if the arrow like pierces through. Well, yeah. It's like then you break the end of it and just pull mm -hmm. it out. But at the you same time, it's like it's have, if you. This is this is a dumb reference, but it's like um, I'm gonna use the Martian as an example because it's like he gets stabbed with something. And it's like his suit was breached, but the blood like congeals around it because it's still in him. Coagulates. Yeah, coagulates. My bad. Yeah. So he doesn't. He his suit doesn't like um, lose pressurization because it's like the, it's it's like filled with blood. Dumb example, but I get a case in point. Now. I guess. Yeah. It's it's just like you know it it makes you bleed out, makes the wound faster, um, makes the wound bigger. The boom arrow. See, see, the, the one thing that I'm seeing about this that kind of seems a lot different than what I did see of The Last of Us, even though I didn't play it, was that usually it was about sneaking and staying away from combat, not just going and murdering well, wholesale. Well, so they the, advertised no. that at the beginning. I think this is just... This is just flavor text. The the reason for that, Joshua, is because the game has a finite amount of resources in it. It's yeah. so like if you look at that machete, every time she hits somebody, she's losing a tick off of it, right? And you don't find much ammunition. And that like that that arrow, bomb arrow she used, I guarantee you, you can make like maybe one of those every hour of game yeah. time. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, what is this?
She's really mad at whoever these people are from the previous trailer where she was like, I'm gonna kill all of them! I'm gonna kill them all, Joel! The, um, uh, what I was gonna say is that that game is interesting because you can essentially play it like you're Batman, throwing smoke yeah. bombs, explosives around and whatnot, but if you do, if you go all out on a fight, then you're basically forced to stall through way through, like, the next six encounters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of the structure of those games, is you can get into straight gunfights and it works, it's just, uh, uh, dicey as to how often you can do that. No, well, di that's a drastic tone shift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I don't Dice know. makes <laughs> Battlefield. Come on. <laughs> we haven't done anything like that for, like, three PlayStation E3s. We haven't done anything like that. we always just come in on, like, you know, an orchestra or whatever. That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here Why are we going backwards? <laughs> We're taking a quick intermission. While folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. Oh, 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 so it is. oh okay. that's cool. <clears throat> my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are a, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge To be here in space. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Uh, to you, to be here in virtual reality, and it zooms out. Let's do is Mr. Sean Layden. Hello, sir. Yeah, good. good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here so fast? We created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into and <laughs> shot right. right across to the studio here. <laughs> right over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And I think I was a very, uh, a very powerful start for our E3 program for this year. That's right, and there's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part Two yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious- So uh, that's why this is live, why they're just hitting here, while they're just sitting here chatting, because it's like, we have, we are literally filling time for the theater audience to move. Exactly. The Last of Us series, and I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, I'm sure what they're going to say is and specific, and but, like, they've got to be able to adapt it as really necessary. That, yeah. Um, they're pulling yeah. out all the stops over at Naughty Dog, and they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only only work at it as a player, but you're going to have to just what think is, Are you seeing those particles flying, flying around? Yeah, we're right. outside. I can't wait to see yeah. more of that. That's all. It's just something game blowing around over here. Part okay. two. Looking obviously seeing this, oh it's yeah, see the win. Watching, watching this makes me like certain mm -hmm. that that Ubisoft, all the screen tearing in that conference was legit, just the conference. Yeah, because we've gotten no issues with any of the other ones, and we're in the same location filming all of these. <laughs> The rule number one is do no harm, right? <laughs> right. The well, issues we were getting during Ubisoft aren't technically, road. most of them weren't actually screen tearing, but I forget mm -hmm. the technical term for them. I, for, I forget, is Nintendo tomorrow um, streaming on Twitch or is it just on YouTube? It's on both. Okay, cool. Advice about where we can take this as, a, as, as an industry and, 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 as, and as, a, as, as a gaming culture, but um, honestly, we've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control I just want PlayStation to start bragging about who they just bought. Yeah. Look at our yeah. money! <laughs> I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into... Uh, coming yeah, into I'm, I really hope this console generation and, uh, doesn't end for more in the year, because it's, happy, like, it's I mean, just catching steam now. And I don't think anyone's like, we need bigger God explosions, you know, and we need the next console. Well, it has a, a huge legion. Well, you know, on the bright side, Joshua, you will get the Final Fantasy VII remake on PS5. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shut <Absolutely>. up. <laughs> Man, you know I'm not going to play that. I'm going to play the Chrono Trigger Mobile Edition instead. That's a much, <laughs> that's a much better use of the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is is filled up with a lot of stuff that we could talk about here or not talk about at all. But it's all important. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus was something that came through really strong, really hard through that kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it and we should have some more updates on that we'll put that through the blog but it's gonna happen all right yes. definitely someone, as someone who miraculously i wish the game plus was just the default home, that makes me very happy I will that would be a really cool there's some games that do that i feel like no there are absolutely but that's what i mean is it's just like i want to play the game again let me go new game plus and see it a little bit differently yeah like it's not hard just do it again i'm sure i'm sure there's probably some difficulty with that like i don't know what it would like with, with different games it'd be different but you know just depends on how your, your code is wired up sometimes it's just difficult to take away key items instantly keep your guns it's not that hard guys 
I'm a game developer. Uh, you did something a little bit out of the ordinary. I used to play that line drawing game, and, and I would make my own line maps. Mm -hmm. That we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, I want to hear this. Every year, we try to let the the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year, we felt that um, what we really wanted to do is take people on a journey deep into the console. What we really felt was we need to up our software sales to compete right with the now. Nintendo Switch's uh, hardware and sales. And get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really people just walk through a hallway and there's just pictures uh, of Nintendo uh, Switches uh, with uh, X's on. And like burning. <laughs> Death all the hallways are and just Xboxes and Switches and burning. On the left, it's, the, it's all that bur burning, and on the right, it's just like the PlayStation. It's like got a golden <laughs> loot box, <laughs> epic chain. He just said, hey, don't expect a big flashy new thing. Yeah. So no, they're not going to walk into Midgar in a few minutes here. <laughs> I'm not getting to my Borderlands 3 this year. You know, it might still show up. I didn't think that it would stage. take it would take Square Enix five years I'm, I'm to release the first episode of an episodic game. I didn't have that little faith in No, that. it's one episode per console. <laughs> Yeah. So we're gonna see a lot of that tonight. Spider-Man. Folks at home should be happy with what they're gonna get. Awesome, thank you, Sean. I'm I'm actually oh, Activision so Spider-Man's. Uh, I'm not active. Is it Activision still? What? I'm um, Spider-Man. Or is it? It's an, it's Insomniac. Yeah, it's Insomniac. My bad. And then they're publishing it. Yeah. <laughs> I I think that's the one I'm looking forward to most. Here. Of, of these? Yeah, just because Death Stranding is such a question mark. I will not, it's good. Yeah, because that and and Tsushima are both huge question marks. Yeah, that's the main issue. This is like the the main one where I'm like, I will buy this game. I feel like. Okay. Okay, never mind. Cool, see, see, the thing I was gonna say is, why aren't they using these inner sequences to show something else? What do you like, mean? Where is Apparently they are, be yeah. This? So yeah, we are gonna, okay. What do you mean right pending to M? Blops for remastered maps. Jungle. That was a fun enough map. No, see, that was Where's a Where's Nuketown? When, when they went out to that, I was thinking, like, so why don't they use this opportunity to... This was the best to... map in Black Ops. I just remember yes. everyone That's, quick scoping actually, their way off that map. As someone who's played very little of any of those games, I actually recognize this map on sight. Yeah. It's a good one. Where's the Nuketown? Uh, is this the long Nuketown's map? already announced. Where's the Nuketown? Yeah, no, it's, it's, saying, it's saying that all of these are in the Battle yeah. Royale map. Slums is okay. It's where I got a very interesting video. This is one from the original Black Ops, I recognize it, yeah. Firing rank, firing okay, all these are fine picks. Not because I ever played it, but because I just remember seeing I it online in videos. I played a decent chunk videos. of it, and it was all right. Blops 4. Black Naps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 from PlayStation Store. That was so fast, I don't wow. think I processed any of that. <laughs> no. It was pre-ordered to get those maps, basically. But it's also said for Black Ops 3. Yeah. Did it, do I get Black Ops 3 for free if I get Black Ops 4? No, what was that? You get those maps Blops. for free. Okay. All right, that was I was thrown a bit there. They beamed someone else new in. Wow, so there's actually they're really it's taking them like it's not they're just going through another door. Like, yeah, they're, they're going. They're going to another building. Layden just left during that to go back and get on stage, right? And then whatever they're going to talk about is going to take a few more minutes for him to get back over there. Yeah. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are are coming to Black Ops Three as well for those who pre-order Black Ops Four on PlayStation Store. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops Three? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. Oh. So tonight <gasps> we're actually doing a surprise <gasps> PlayStation Plus game drop. There. Yeah. Okay. Black I mean. Ops Three. Black Ops Three is coming to PlayStation Plus later tonight. Okay. For Shadow sure. draw for one month. For one month. Eh. Not only do we get to share awesome news. Oh yeah, on uh, online right now on computer, uh, you can get For Honor for free. It's like if you download it between like yeah, here to you Monday, get, you get it for free. You just get it for free. Period. Okay. That's that's what the one was. Yeah, during Ubisoft. Cool. Really cool announcements. Last week we did our countdown, kind of ramping up. Here's the real question. What is what is the cost on loot box coin right now? Oh, oh no! I, as soon as I click to go on Google loot box coin, the recording the capture dropped frames. Uh oh. Quick look back at the highlights. Oh no! Hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. This actually will. Okay. This format will allow them to do the other stuff while at, while making all of these very much tertiary secondary things to the main show, you yeah. know? Why I don't, do people keep buzzing me? I don't hate this structure. So many colors. Dude, your friends are excited about Tetris. 3 Black Ops 3. Tetris Effect, yeah, that was announced earlier this week. I don't know what this means, but Jake just takes me, hey, look, oh there's no. Days oh, no. gone. I don't know why. Probably blops. 
Okay, he's gone. Loot box hero. What does it cost? Loot box coin is down to $75. Oh, oh, right. Buy no. now. Buy now. Buy now. <laughs> Buy now. <laughs> This? They should, this, this is all stuff that they've shown over the last week. Oh. Oh, yeah, all the stuff they were like, we're gonna announce and stuff up to you. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get it out. Holy oh, crap, is this an Animal Crossing group off? Really? Who are you? That's a cute concept. That you're a big VR ghost in a little, in a small Animal Crossing world. Okay, that's cool. A VR rhythm game. That's the that's that's the exact kind of rhythm game that I would actually want to play. That's freaking awesome. Saber. It's too bad I don't have VR and we'll never get it. Because you get to dual wield. That's a spoiler. Oh shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. What? Nothing. No spoiler questions. Were you about to do um? Uh, were you about to do Daybreak from from Community? No, I was doing I was, I was doing something about VR and dual wielding. Oh okay. All right. <laughs> no, that Josh, with the reference you're making to dual wielding, I'm going to. It's going to be something that I share. Okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be in a YouTube video. <laughs> Let's, let's just, photo, just photoshop them into a parking lot. Hosts a huge loyal community of nearly six billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Those six billion hours are catching up to us. Oh no. At least we're not missing anything interesting right now. Un momento, por favor. Oh, he's saying oh no to the uh, to the layout of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. That's I'm, honestly fair. I so, kind of like it though. So it's far, neat, but it's a miss. So far, already. I'm not mad at this format. No, but it's it, it's taken a while to get from A to B. This is great. This is fantastic. Live. I don't believe you. Um. Now what? Did this just? I feel. No wait. Look at the comments. I want to see if this actually crashed. I'm guessing not, but. Off offline. No, that, the, the page hasn't loaded yet. We still got the. Yeah, no, hold on. Yep, fix the stream, please. Yeah, I see. I it's see. It, I see. It. Yeah, okay, it's all. So it's, it's down for everybody. Microsoft is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is another cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> rip, rip, wrecked. Someone YouTube. said, "What happened to net neutrality?" <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just got it back, and we're already, already, we're ruining it. Let's see if I can hop on to, like, let's see, if, let's see if Twitch's stream page. is, I don't know why Mass Effect is on the front page. Powered by Totino's no, no. Pizza. Oh, no, Twitch's is up Twitch's for some reason. Up. Okay, we're switching. Okie doke. We're turncoats. Thank you so much. Ripperoni. Oh, Ripperoo. Uh, please fix the quality, please. I can't do anything to fix the quality. I'm asking God. It'll be okay. We'll survive. It'll be all right. Where did you think you were going there, Joshua? Right now. I don't oh, remember what I said. More, more, okay, hey, we're on, we're on we're Sushima. Somewhere. Okay. Oh. Wait, hold on. This is not themed after Japan, though. So are we just in? We only did the one setup, and now we're just in one room from here on forward, or something? I hope not. No, because they're in a dome. So it's interesting. But no, look, they're all in the like, detail in the world. Before everybody was standing. Yeah. Now we're all seated. Like we're are in we a proper get a music theater track now. for every game now. I think so. Cool. That's freaking awesome. Well, they've been doing the you know the orchestra. The yeah, last couple yeah. of uh, they did the orchestra that one year, and then they had it introduced with a musical number for Uncharted Four the year after that, or for Uncharted Lost Legacy. I'm just is. glad it wasn't our our internet that gave up. It I've was never just seen their stream before. I believe it's pronounced Sushema. And PlayStation wins. <laughs> PlayStation hasn't won anything. No, they haven't won anything. What are you talking about? I was joking. The Last of Us Two. Tr truly, this is The Last of Us Part 2. Dude, this like, guy's getting it right mm -hmm. now. But my, my point being, like, yes, that was The Last of Us 2. It will be good. I also saw nothing that wasn't The Last yeah. of Us Part 2. Yeah. So, no, they won nothing. They, they gave me exactly what I expected. Which, to be fair, was a lot. But all, the, all, they did, all they did was not screw it up. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what they're trying to do with all four of these. They're trying to say, yes, these games will all be good. Now, leave us alone and go buy them. But I guess the greater point is we don't know what Tsushima is yet, and we don't know what Death Stranding is yet. So there are no expect like with with Last of Us, it's just yes, expectations met. Great. That's why I feel like they're gonna end with Spider-Man. Who knows? They're, we'll they're see. gonna fix the two question marks in the middle. That way, if they don't fix them, they're forgettable, at least slightly.
this white dude up here giving this performance. Cultural appropriation. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And he's I'm wearing very mad. he's wearing that hat. I would say Sony Kito has would be I would very say upset. Sony has automatically lost. Yeah. Dude, this is a nice lost screen. Lost to who though? Microsoft? Yes. Anybody. Anybody. They lost their last place due to racism. Oh, okay, yeah, you're Due right. Due to cultural appropriation. Sucker Even Punch EA. is a bunch of white people they're making their, a samurai game? They're in their own category now. F minus. No, no, they're with EA and an F minus. Let's face it. I need to see extended gameplay of this and, like, a developer talking about it. Yeah, I absolutely know nothing of this. Ghost. Well, that's because there was that one cinematic trailer and then nothing. Ghost. They talked about it at one panel at Paris Games Week, and the details were, like, nothing. Almost nothing came out about it. I remember seeing a trailer and being like, yeah, that could be all right. It's a Japanese maple tree. Temple's close. Do you like the art style so far? Okay. The Mongols never made it, though. They, They're they... on Tsushima. It's an, it's an out outlying island. Oh, okay. This it happened. This, I was about to say, Divine Wind, they kind of got wrecked on their way to Japan. No, not only did, did the Mongols make it here, I believe that they wrecked shop on this island. Like, it was bad. So is this going to be, like, accurate historic, or is it going to be, like, I think it's going. I, th I mean, it's, it's historic fiction, but there's no... I don't think there's any literal ghosts in this. Okay. Unless unless it's, like, minor Shinto references or something, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I didn't mean that literally. I meant, like, is there going to be magic? Or is... I don't think there's any... I don't think, I don't think this is... This is this is a this is historical uh, fiction, not historical that's fantasy, cool. as cool. far as I know. Okay, that's we'll that's like my favorite genre. I would love games. you to say that, and you just see like a giant oni in the background. No, we see Norman Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, who was the actor that played in the movie where it was like an American guy learning like the sword? Akra. No, the was pitch it? the pitch is, is from what I understand is basically the invasion has is for the most of the game the invasion is already like kind of underway and the samurai have basically already been wiped. Yeah. And you are just one guy who's on a solo mission to try and take it all back. Slowly. That's awesome. I like fighting the Mongols. They're kinda like terrible warlords. Histories and the, the heels of history. Truly Earth's greatest heels, the Mongols. They just became Chinese and or died. It was kind of sad. That's I think I think that's the thing. The, the, the Chinese culture and as a country will be around longer than all of us because they are one of the longest standing, most consistent like empires yeah. in civilized history. They've been conquered so many times throughout history and it didn't matter because within three generations, their conquerors were just Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's exactly that's what I was hoping it would be. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. <laughs> when is this game coming out? I want to know now. I want to know now. You're too young to know. This looks like more stylized Breath of the Wild. Get Joshua, every game that appears <laughs> that has shields and open fields, you just go, hey, this looks like Breath of the Wild. Hey, shut up. It's a good game. How did he cut his arm off right there? He cut, he slashed his sword and he cut it. Oh, Dude, no, he, he used a cheat code. Okay. Like that guy in Pixels. <laughs> Jin, you're late. You're impatient. <laughs> yeah. Look, the bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. <laughs> they're left and right audio tracking us right now, so all of us are only hearing half of this yeah, conversation. Yeah, I was about to say something feels off. No, I realized because I could hear one of them very clearly, and one of them was muffled. I was like, oh, okay. Kill the 
It's fine. We get to watch all the murder. See, in this game, murder is acceptable for me. Because you're brutally destroying an invading army who brutally destroyed you. Well, to, again, as someone who is, you're not familiar with The Last of Us, um, you you kill a lot of really, really bad people yeah, in The Last but, of Us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's Uncharted 2. Not as. I am familiar. I'm, I should say grappling to, I should say to someone. Yeah. Grappling hook. <laughs> yeah, this is the of generation the of grappling hooks. Heck yes. This game is that went Everybody from like the one where I was like, eh. Are sick. This one has gone from the one I was eh about to number one. They've done it. Sony won. They won E3. Josh, you're forgetting that Spider-Man is a whole game of grappling hooks. You're right. My bad. I just love. But they don't have. Style it doesn't have katanas. Play, so I'm already down yeah. for this. Neo was great, and this reminds me a lot. Yeah. Except that this was Neo, I think that we created the. Alive. I think we created the the Dark Souls of samurai games with grappling hooks. I think. I, all we need is to do now is create the. No, this is Sam Fisher quick kill vision. Right. It's. Uh oh. Yeah. It's like Whoa. it's like the quick quick switch CQC in Peace Walker and MGS5, except you get to select yeah. who you jump to in slow motion. That's cool. Reinforcements. We have to move. Ouch. Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! If we fight, the Mongols win. They already won. Yeah, so this is very, very early in the game, clearly. Oh, yeah. yeah. When he still has allies. And he's gonna lose them quickly. I love how I love how I always love it when I watch these types of things. And and you know you watch it and you go yes these people know exactly what they're doing. Like how this opened with the single swipe, waited out, strike at the right moment for a quick kill. And that's what we're gonna do here too. I'm sure. Or is this gonna be more of a like an actual duel? This is gonna Seems be a like proper duel. Yeah. Okay, never mind. This is gonna be a real duel. But I bet it's still gonna be really qu like this is still probably gonna be over quickly. And like only a couple of hits, like I'm I'm feeling the end of Kill Bill Part One right now, which yeah. is a very very quick, precise fight. This leaf tag is nice. Yeah, this this is really charming. It's like, too bad I'm that this I'm looking at the lightsabers. Right it's, it's too bad we're looking at the PC build right now. Absolutely. That's our enemy. All the leaves are gonna burn, and we're all gonna buy PS4 Pros. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> They're this firing is, arrows. This is gonna yeah. be announced to be exclusive to the Pro. This is going on slightly longer than I would have liked, but the number of hits is about. Well, it's because he's not trying to kill her. Sure. The the number of total sword impacts are still basically what I was looking for. Ghost. Tsushima, I believe is how Tsushima, it's pronounced. Tsushima, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thoroughly interested. That's, in that's really pretty good. much what I expected it to be, but of course we didn't know, so it's good to actually see it. World premiere. Xbox <laughs> One exclusive. We still haven't seen Dreams. Like, is that game? That game's never coming out. It's a, it's literally it's a dream. Or is this Dreams now? This is Dreams now. Only Dreams now. <laughs> Sleep. Or is this um uh, my friend Pedro? <laughs> Was that a real clap? Or? I really hope so. I don't know. I want I want Nina Struthers to go shut your mouth, you effing moron! <laughs> is this so is it, snake? Is this dreams? I'm gonna guess this is Death Stranding. Because almost all those trailers open in a way where you don't know what it is yeah. initially, and it's got that weird morphing gun. So that's my that my start. Is it a morphing gun in that? No, no. I'm just saying it's something weird that I don't know. So my starting point is Death Stranding. That's fair. 
But I don't maybe this doesn't actually get it. And rituals. Super hot HD edition. You can keep traveling deeper. Is this that uh this looks kinda no it's not, never mind. It's it, I doubt it anyway. That was there's some PC game that this is reminding me of from like last year called like Echo or something like that, but it's not it's it's not that. Maybe it's Echo 2. No, it's it's Rise it's it's, it's too different. Echo 2. Is this the, the next sound. Portal? Yes. And Valve doesn't make video games anymore, Joey. Oh, you're right. My you're bad. Right. <laughs> they do they do make Dota card games though. Darn. So for those who don't know, <clears throat> The the prob the problem the reason why Valve died is because they adopted admittedly an interesting business model where basically if you're an employee at Valve you can kind of pick where you want to work, like what department you want to work in, what projects you want to work on, like whatever you're interested in and what you're passionate about, right? Only problem is obviously you're going to get paid depending on how successful your division is and how your products how successful your products are, right? Mm -hmm. So guess what? W why not just go and make Team Fortress two hats? Yeah. Why sit in this office with 20 people making Half-Life Episode 3 when you could be in that office with... Oh, with Remedy. Okay. Wow. All right. That came out of... No so maybe there are surprises in store for us during this. Yeah, they lied. Why, wor why work on Half-Life 2 Episode a, this 3? Is a, this is Death Stranding. This is Death yeah. Stranding, yeah. When you could jump into... I can already tell. Excuse are me? Are you kidding me? Excuse me? Yeah. Crashed again? No, is that... A, that's a PlayStation. Not enough free system... What are you... What?! <laughs> what the yeah. shit? So, yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, this, the, the internet browser is real rough. What was it trying to download? What? What, did, what, did, what did it think? What, what did it think had, it was downloading? I've had weird errors like that happen as well. That's fine. All we okay, missed was rabbit they're... cereal. <laughs> Move the cursor out to the side, Jacob. Our audience is leaving. We're losing views. Jacob. Go faster. <laughs> Man, Ratatouille, he's looking wild. <laughs> yeah, this is Ratatouille 2. This is Kingdom Hearts 3. This is the Ratatouille 2 mini, the Ratatouille mini game. No right? cup noodles! You had a delicious are you a like cup noodles. Are you a detective rat who witnesses murders Why as a you, rat? You're stupid. Why would you get crushed by that? It, hey, it is Ratatouille. <laughs> There's I Remy. It a rat. Oh, is it Vamp? Is it Vamp? It's zombies. Return? Oh. It's, it's probably Days Gone or it's something. It's probably Days Gone. Yeah. Dude, Vampire or Vampire really visually looks like Bloodborne too. Or is this Norman Reedus? No, it's Leon. Whoa! Oh, there it is. There it is. That's one tick off the bingo oh that I remember off the top of my head. Well, Resident never mind. This this Evil. this this presentation hey. is officially the biggest wild card. Okay, so so PlayStation has one. It's over. Not yet. Yes, they have. Honestly, Don't lie. Xbox was really good. You see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Yeah, I know. But should it just cut to a reverse shot of Leon and he's like, Oh no, this is a remake. Yeah, this isn't is a remake. It? It's a yeah, remake no, of two. Okay, absolutely. all right, all right, duh. Of course, I I don't know how that blew past. Yeah, me. I was about to say because he only worked at Raccoon Police Department yeah. for a day, so I was like, is this I'm just stupid. two, or is this like a prequel? Show us some that... gameplay. Yeah, we're Show done. us the tank controls or the not tank controls. It's, no, it was a third person shooter. We just saw it's it's gonna play like four. It's Man. not gonna be like seven. It's gonna play like yeah. you know, four, Make three, six. Make Pat mad. I'm really dumb. Like that, the fact that he was yeah. wearing the Raccoon City badge completely blew past me. See, see, I saw that, but I was like, maybe it's like he goes back to work there. I don't know. All I know about is two and four, really, like anything. It's coming! It's coming back! It should be RE remastered. RE2 mastered. Is it literally just called Resident Evil 2? Why would you do that? And it's coming out on the yeah! same day as Kingdom Hearts 3 is in Japan. <laughs> I didn't yeah! even get to make the joke that time. They just did it themselves. And Square immediately jumped today. off of their skyscraper. <laughs> and they're like, well, we pushed it back to avoid the holiday season. Now we got to push it to... What did that big guy say? He said something, and it was very clear, but I was talking, so I missed it. We can mute our audio there. I'm going to have to go back and listen to what yeah. he said, because now I'm very curious. 
Holy crap. This is, I can't believe they just called it Resident Evil 2. This is dreams. It's not I, gonna, no. If it's, only you believed in me. It's not gonna show like this one part and then it's gonna go to the next I game. know these are just transitions. I'm just gonna keep saying this is dreams over and over again. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the Dan Harmon. Now I'm just thinking about the time Dan Harmon was on the Game Grumps and they were talking about being in the bathtub. <laughs> They already used the joke. Somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this in this weird part of the galaxy because it's the sci-fi based thing. Help! Got electrocuted. All right. Why no switch? Why no switch? I'm gonna. I will. I will put you through a window. But but Jacob, why put that me window the over window? there that's on ground floor that would do nothing? Why why? Oh my God, Joey, take your headphones oh, out. Look away. Is it the same? Baby. Okay. Oh it's, my it's God, they the did. It. They gave him a different. Joey, look up for twi five seconds. Look, they actually did hey, the thing. Yeah. They fixed it. All right, now look back okay, down, look down, Joey. <laughs> they fixed it. Oh my God. They fixed it. It's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. <laughs> Oh I, crap! No, it was always gonna be this. Well, no, oh, it could have been two though. Oh my god, Not three! How good is he gonna look? These are pretty all right. They're not—they're not the most photorealistic, but they're staying within the Kingdom exactly. Hearts art style. I'm okay with it. I can't believe it. I thought this was the long. <gasps> what? <laughs> Joey, Joey, look up! It's—it's. It's... They, they, you missed they were, it. It was, were, was, it was not Sea of Thieves. It was Assassin's Creed. They were black, black flagging flag. it. Oh my and they were God. shooting at other heartless ships. Literally ship. black flag for a second. Okay, you can look away again. Yeah. No, just in case, because because Xehanort could show up at any moment. His corpse <laughs> okay. could show up next to Kyrie's corpse. <laughs> This I like the is, portrait too. Never mind. Wow. Dude, you know what? I'm I said hyped. that all my enthusiasm was gone oh, after those other two. Of course. I'm all, I, they were doing this. I, can't, I bet you anything. It's this song again. Now that the song is playing, let's I, see. No sound effects. Let's see. No sound effects. Let's, let's watch and listen. He looks decent. Oh. A box. He's doing sequel setup. No, set it's the mi no, no. Yeah, it's that's thematically relevant, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it is without sound. Man, I yeah. hate this Black Ops announcement because now I've gotten a bunch of messages saying, "Do download the game. We can <laughs> play again." Hey, guess what? I I hated those other two trailers. Jacob, this is slightly winning me back. Yeah. But I still don't understand why they decided when Udada's playing they can't have sound effects. That's too hard. I'm really baffled by this decision. Ha having like more than two sound layers is really hard, man. The new seven hearts. What did she just say? Bull. Uh, they, they they were talking in unison. You did hear what she just said, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. I'm already. <laughs> Never mind. Give me a good look at her. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I'm fine with it. That's acceptable. What? Kill me. What? Just. What? Let, just let me die. I want to die. Just let me they die. They had to end on that. Man, there's a wide range of emotions I'm <laughs> feeling from y'all right just now. Just let Are me die. Are you kidding me? Can I look yet? Almost. Oh my gosh. Kingdom Hearts 3 Limited Edition PS4 Pro. Yahoo. And they're showing 1.5 Remix and 2.5 Remix for some reason. Why? Free with PlayStation Plus. Oh yeah. You're okay, right. Cool. They're going to shadow drop it. I'm, it doesn't say for you PlayStation Plus. Oh, 2.8. We can actually no, never use mind. that. Now it's no, it's all in one package. Okay, oh. never mind. 
you can there's you can buy one edition that has 1.5 and 2.5 collection, 2.8 and KH3. Never uh, mind. That's cool. That's fine. Am I good now? You're good now. Okay. It's rabbits? No, it's dreams. I mean, Only you believe. I made, yesterday I made the joke about God Howard and somebody just posted this. <laughs> you changed the group name to Become As Todd's. That was oh. actually that was a perfect transition into Death Stranding, honestly. There it is. There's that baby again. <laughs> the baby. The baby. Uh, are we gonna be come out of this more the confused baby. than we were? Why didn't no, they? Because why we'll didn't they? Play. Why didn't they show that trailer at the Square Enix conference? That's what I, exactly what I was gonna say, but I didn't get it out because why? that character started talking about things that don't make sense, and I got why? distracted. Why? Dude, what if the game plays like wall? Like, what if it's a racing game? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Flow motion. Joey doesn't understand that. It's fine. I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Want to come work for me? Must be Fox Hound. I can't help you with that. Oh no, the quality dropped. Make deliveries. Oh well, we'll live with it. That's all. It's like whatever. It looks good. Kojao Kojima's studio made it. It's gonna look good. Yeah. We can believe it, even if the resolution's low. Yeah, I'm very confused now about Square's entire presentation. What were they doing with their lives? I don't know. It was very strange. It was very strange and confusing. I mean, Speaking of strange and confusing, why are you a Spartan walking around in Athens? To, and to be fair, Creed, yeah. To be Odyssey. fair, they did like they did announce two new games yeah. at that presentation that they probably couldn't yeah, have announced yeah. elsewhere. So I mean, I, I get it, but. So. Final Fantasy VII Remake can totally show up at this now. Yeah. It actually is totally now fair Because game. Square is that dumb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now he's my- He's not looking super good. No, he's not. He's fine. You mean he's, no he's Norman Reedus. That's Hideo Kojima <laughs> after he got fired oh, from- no. Oh, that's Kratos' wife. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers. That's not no. a spoiler. Uh, I, that's spoilers. in the first five minutes of the game. Exactly. It's literally the first two minutes of the game. Exactly. No, you carry a tree first. No yeah, spoiler question. Yeah, on for like a minute, and then you go to the dead wife. So, so far we're walking, so far this is just a David Cage game. Varying things and sizes of backpacks. He said he's, he said he's a delivery man, so. Yeah, he's like a, the. He's transporting things. He's a space trucker without a truck. Like we're still we're still gonna find out this like I still figure this takes place in some kind of like alternate game dimension that all these people are stuck in or something. Like nah. No no I know not not when I say game dimension, I don't mean they're literally inside of a video game. I mean like in the sense that you know running man is a game or whatever. Oh, like yeah. I get the feeling that all these people are trapped here trying to accomplish something and Oh, oh. I don't need to see that. Yeah, do it! Oh, that was great. Dude, cross country oh, makes me do that more than I wanna do, okay? Excuse yeah. me? Yeah, no, yes. No, uh, ugh. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. No, not, was, not, not Big Toe, thank I God. I didn't but, need to know that. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I get the feeling this game takes place in some kind of alternate dimension where everybody here has some kind of task, but it's like, you know how in Sword Art, people give up, and it's like, I'm not gonna try and do the raids, I'm just gonna like run a shop. Yeah. Or whatever, right? So like, maybe Re Redis isn't a, like, trying to get the baby, he's just like, the I'm baby. gonna deliver things to people who do want it. But the baby's like, no, the, I want you, Norman Redis. Who knows? There's no point in trying to predict this. I'm just like I'm just talking about the, the slight sense that I do get. Here comes invisible monsters. Hey, it left a picture of Norman Reedus. It's not Norman Reedus. I think it was. To the left, it was him with shorter hair. Or the right, my bad. I can't do directions. I was gonna say, to the left was an old white Man, lady. Look at all that symbolism. See, look at this. Ah, it's the baby. No, it's not. It's a bigger person. Is that? It's, it's an actress. Is that who I think it is?
There they are. Yeah, it's, again. A big, it's a big floating god man. This is really weird. Of course it is. Yeah, it's Kojima. Yeah. We knew this was weird from the first time. NGS2 trailer. was weird, but at least they showed snakes shooting dudes. But Joshua, remember all the marketing for MGS2 lied to you. I don't care. <laughs> it gave us what we wanted. See? Told this, you. This, okay, that, yeah, that is him. You're right. Also, this is giving me exactly what I want. Shut up. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Port of Bridges. Sam Bridges is the name of our main character, though. Status? Aurelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they... Alright, so that was game... That was trailer. Now we're going into gameplay. Yeah. Kojima was talking big game about this whole thing being some kind of, like, actually, like, a, quote, new experience or whatever, but he's talked big game about that before, so we'll see. I like how Kojima's sticking to his guns with the whole stealth game thing, though. No! You've gotta be... Should I just delete something off my PS3? No, it doesn't matter. It, it won't. It won't help. I, <laughs> I know. I'm just. I'm just. I joking. promise. I'm just joking. Oh, what is man. Twitch? I'm tr if, is it if, trying to? It's trying to download pizza rolls. Oh no, dude! If Flinkit is trying to send me pizza dude, towards Totino's if, pizza rolls any day now. Please, Totino's. <laughs> Pray that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know what it is. It looks like it's some kind of stealth game. Uh. Well, gonna have looks to go like back it's an open world stealth game. This ad supports Twitch. Twitch needs money. Are you kidding me? Yay! Why are they? I want this to be part of Death Stranding. I want this to be Totino's. a punk and it's just part of Death Stranding. Pizza rolls. Oh my god. And then Norman Reedus walks in and eats a pizza roll. God bless. This is the... Oh my... <laughs> Well, so the name of this video has to be Jacob, Joey, and Josh attempt to attempt watch. To watch. <laughs> attempt to watch, yeah. Oh, it's so still going. So there's more. Wasn't that his wife from the picture? I don't know. It looked kind of like the actress from Breaking Bad who plays Walter White's wife, but it wasn't her. It looked kind of similar, but it wasn't her. Do, 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 do. Dude, okay. Dude. All right. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> We're already back with Dynasty Warriors 10 because 9 was such a mess. <laughs> wow. That guy's deader than anybody's yeah, ever been. No, no, he's not. He's not? No, he just activated his devil trigger. Yeah, absolutely. Joey, did you rewatch the 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 Devil May Cry Five video and listen to the music? No. The song is literally about let me let me activate my devil trigger That's and, and good. rip you hey! to pieces. Whoa. Okay. Sick. N now this and that and shadows die twice. All right. At the same time. <laughs> God, that Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer was was actually... My, this, has been, this has been a roller it coaster of, of Kingdom Hearts some, emotions. Some I'm not gonna yeah. lie, when I first saw it, I was like, this looks like Neo. And I'm like, no, I can't say every Asian sword game looks this like Neo. Neo. That's and racist, And the one that you don't say it on was the... My movie. racism was correct this time. Do, 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 Why do. I became an animator. That was pretty funny. <laughs> New York City. 
He said, it says east of New York City or something. Midgar. No, it says east of New York City, the raft facility. You have to remember, in Spider-Man lore, there are just oh, dozens. Yeah, yeah, there I are forgot. just dozens of small offshore scientific facilities for, that Spider-Man can easily get to by hitching a ride on a boat or helicopter. Love the optimism, but in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. I was reading. Is that Electro? Yes. I was reading all of Game Informer's coverage of this game, or uh, Ryan watching the videos on their website and whatnot. Um. This game it looks so promising. I am very, very excited for this game. That seems to be a general consensus. It's like, oh man, please do this right. Yeah, and it, from everything that they're saying, everything in those interviews that they did, it was absolutely they were saying the right things. The inherent premise of, hey, guess what? So, so one thing that they were saying that they Welcome meant they said the party, um, uh, pal. they said that uh, after you beat the game when you're doing new game plus or whatever or when, when you just when you're just doing free run after you beat the game you'll be given the option of changing the time of day and people were mad because like oh the, like they're they're just cheaping out on like you know not having dynamic weather and whatnot because they don't want to do the effort it's like no you guys aren't paying attention they've been saying that the game takes place over the course of two weeks and i was like how does that work in an open world game and the answer is when you're in story mode even though it's an open world game you are in story mode yeah and that's yeah. awesome that's exactly what i want Dude, these prisoners are really terrible with their job. They've got like extremis from from Iron Man. 3 yeah, I think they're all like super soldiers. While wearing or the prison costumes from Guardians of the Galaxy One. Yeah. And there's a Kree. Why is there a Kree here? Because oh, he's, he's got gotta ultimate. kill them all. It's it's a tie-in with activate Pokemon. instant kill mode. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I don't want to kill anybody. The everyone's Here's favorite. Big wheel. I will kill Spider with the rhino horn. I just want to see Big Wheel. Just trapped in a prison with every criminal I've put away in the last eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. You and me, kid. This. I know that's not who it is, but I don't care. It's Scorpion. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. You know what that felt like? What? This like yeah, I know like that really felt just the the quick pacing of that feels like the the and the like the unbroken nature of you know like no camera cuts of just him swinging in there and then the tail coming down. It felt like the Spider-Man ride at Marvel Universal Studios. Yeah. 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 Movement seems pretty solid. Like I know this is all just cinematic nonsense, but or not cinematic, but like script planned. Nonsense, planned. But. Like that's that was my big question about that my friend Pedro game they showed during the Devolver conference is how yeah. much of that is manual and how much of that is just the character spins like that automatically. Yeah. You know? I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. Ooh. It's better than Kingdom Hearts 3's version of the exact same mechanic. I mean, so, because they're they so gave proud at least, of. They gave two frames of animation to it. It's it's double what Kingdom Hearts got. <laughs> Yeah, Joey, the Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay stuff they were showing at the premiere event like a month ago. Uh -huh. Um there's this wall there's a wall running mechanic like what Spider-Man just did, right? Yeah. But if you try to turn left or right and run like horizontally instead of vertically on the wall, there is literally one frame of animation for Sora turning on a dime. Nice. And it looks awful. Sorry, no time to talk. I hope the vulture is back in the next homecoming film. Yeah. Yeah. He was really, really good. Michael Keaton was he really was good in that role. Part of, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want him to come back and be like, "So, Spider-Man, you want to help me take out? Like, I want them to. I want it to be a team up. Yeah, <laughs> I want them to be. I want him to be a protagonist. A protagonist. I, I, no, I, I was saying how excited I am for this game, and then I'm talking over it. But I'm, I'm, the thing is, I'm gonna watch this again six times. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Could it be? Will this be the Spider-Man two that everybody's wanted? Hopefully. The funny thing is that um, I'm not going to be here for like most of tomorrow besides the Nintendo conference, which means when I get home tomorrow, it's just going to be me watching Nintendo Treehouse for like four hours because I'm a nerd. Yeah, because you're going to back up to the beginning of that stream. Yeah. 
And it's like eight hours. We are, we are, we are, just, we are going out of our way to watch the Nintendo stream live just for you guys. Even though obviously you guys aren't getting any of this until days after E3 is done. But yeah, like, but we got, you gotta get our hot reactions without no spoilers. Yeah. To the, to the Nintendo. Yeah, look, event there's more than one frame. Spoiled. There's more than one frame of animation for him turning. <laughs> Watch and take notes, Square Enix. No, that's too Who's hard. Who's his voice actor? Uh, Yuri Lowenthal. Oh! Who's that? I don't know. Yosuke. Oh, really? Yosuke Hanamura from Persona 4 is. I'm going to recognize that grunt. Um, among, among many other yeah. characters, yeah, totally. but you'd know him yeah. from that. Kaka! Spider Man villain battle royale. <laughs> So, we hadn't yeah. made a single Battle Royale joke this entire presentation, I don't think. Remember, he said not to kill him. Good idea. In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Who I really wanted to spy around was Ray Chase. Mostly because I just want him in every game ever. Uh, he's he's getting plenty of work after 15. Yeah. I'm just saying, Ray Chase ain't gonna have to worry about bread for this a little while. I mean, he's gonna be the the Mickey of oh, Mouse. He in, got stabbed. He's gonna be the Mickey of Mouse in King Hearts 4, probably. I don't think so. Oh, that's oh, an, oh, I yeah. That's okay. a that's an Sorry. acronym. I got it. 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 M O M. Figure it out, idiots. <laughs> it took me a second. So now Helicopter Lady's gonna show up and kill everyone. No, it's gonna be like Spider-Gwen or something. Oh. We don't even get to see. He might have said a name when we were talking. No, he said you. said you. No, he said what you or something. He said either what or somebody's name. It can't be Harry Osborn because Harry is out of town because he's running Oscorp now and he's traveling the world as his dad is running for mayor. That's a plot point they talked oh, about really? with Game Informer. Yeah, so Harry's gonna be on the phone every now and then, but you're not ever gonna you're not gonna meet him in the game. So this is a this yeah. Is this is, yeah. Well, maybe not. But okay, maybe sure. one more stinger. We'll see. That's usually the way it works: a sizzle and then e either one more stinger, or it's over. Neck three. Neck three, baby. Why year round turn around? Now yeah, dreams. dreams. Okay. Was that it? Yeah, it's been an hour. Okay. That was it. That's I mean that's fine. I'm not mad. Yeah, that, just, that right. was that was a little better than Xbox, I would say. Nah. Nah. Xbox is pretty wild. Okay, there is more. So what was that then? Or no, it is just exterior. Never mind. Forget it. Okay, I was I thought that was a game was for a second. E3 I guess it's because the resolution is so low. I couldn't tell what it was. Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here. Coming right up, we're gonna oh. have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here. Oh. Just a couple of minutes. Live minutes. I do want to see a few minutes of that. Some other stuff to talk about. A new game to announce? Did he say? Oh did he? I think he just said we have a new game to announce. <laughs> There's no time. Oh my goodness, Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those that. Run that by me again. How and, it pronounced? Huh? And he said graphics. he said Sushuma. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the graphics. I assume it was Sushima. I guess it's Sushima. Oh, Resident Evil 2. Come on, RE2. That looked so good. I know a lot of us fans have been waiting for that one. RE2 remake is pretty wild, and yeah. that's that's for for a lot of people. That's gonna be like what Monster Hunter oh. World was. Oh. So since we're watching Twitch's stream, they're like, okay, we're over. We're not holding it. We're okay. not hosting anymore. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Let's that, try and find Tino Sony Street. Yeah, that, uh, watch that one still be down. They're like, we couldn't fix it in an hour, you guys. Our tech support I, isn't good enough. I mean, there's no way that they, then they wouldn't be continuing we, with the We bankrupted ourselves through all of our terrible movies. Oops. Whoops. Okay, no, never mind. That was very strange. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing. No Borderlands 3. Yeah. Xbox One, a lot of people are saying, garbage. Where is Skate 4? Some people are saying Sony wins. Other people are saying garbage. Nintendo wins. Yeah, Nintendo wins. It doesn't matter. They yeah. Won. That's correct. They won with Skylanders Star Fox. They won at somebody else's conference, yeah. you're saying? I mean, they won with Mario and Rabbids last year. This is a weaker show. Miyamoto came out with a gun. It was over. I don't know. Like, like some people, really, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, Monster Hunter World was a big deal for some people. And for Resident Evil, for some people, Resident Evil 2 Remake is, like, is the biggest deal. Like, that is, that is, you know, the, that is the white stag. <laughs> I love that. The guy's like, I don't know what I'm looking at with Kingdom Hearts. It just looks good. 
Is that what he said? I wasn't yes. paying attention. Yes. But then he was like, but let's move on to the real game, Spider-Man. Let's, <laughs> let's move on from the game that none of us understand. One of the best responses in, like, chat during one of those Kingdom Hearts trailers that I saw and one of these streams was just literally, who is this game for? <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't know, Joey, because you didn't see, like, the back half of any of those trailers where the story stuff was happening. Because I showed you the front half of the Xbox yeah. one before other stuff happened. It's like... <laughs> it, it, it's the worst it's ever been. It, and granted, it's all out of context, but it is some of some of some of the worst that it's ever been. I yeah. can't believe that they're redoing um, what's that game called? The Wolf, whatever it's called, the one that was announced during announced during the. Oh my God! I don't know. President, what President, Mr. President. Metal Wolf, Metal yeah. Wolf Chaos. Yeah. I can't believe they're remaking that. You can cut out the just, rest. It's of what just I a said. port. It's just a port. Just yeah. Oh, uh, they're talking about a FromSoft game, yeah. This is just gonna be in a, the same Metal trailer. of Chaos, you mean? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Whatever, we get to see more of this. Yes, okay, so there's still more here. There's still more. You get to be a fairy. And live in the world where time stands still. Where nobody can see what you're up to ever again. Hmm? Th that felt kind of Peter Panish almost. It said FromSoft. I know. This so, is FromSoft making a Peter Pan game. This is this is a new Sek game from this is a new game from FromSoft. This is not Sekiro. This is not Dark Souls. <laughs> this is not Dark Souls. No, what if what if this is Bloodborne? what if this is Sekiro? But we're gonna find out that Sekiro is like is like God of Four moving. Hold oh, on, that's a technically a spoiler for later in God of Four, kind of. That I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about the hypothetical sequels to God of Four. Is this Bloodborne? Yes. <laughs> no, that that one girl reminds me of a character from it, but I, I genuinely have no idea what this is. About. I mean, I'm sure this is new. They said that we have a new game to announce. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's like this is out of the ballpark. I guess they're gonna be branching out. But they did say Dark Souls 3 was the last Dark Souls game, and nobody no, believed them. No, 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 I believe. Uh, play the DLC, everybody, and you'll believe them. But I just mean, like, like maybe they're really just, like, we want to make other types of games now. Yeah. Like, honest to God. I mean, like, I mean, it makes sense. Anybody gets tired of doing certain things. Dreams? <laughs> Deracine. 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 From Software's new title coming to PlayStation VR. Quite a bit very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet. But certainly a well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Why did he even say that? Why no Whoa. switch? Why no Please switch? Please point out. Please point out that we don't know anything about it. Why no switch? I'm interested. I'm not anymore because it's on VR. <laughs> and I, I'm VR. We know, but here's the thing. It's probably not VR exclusive. <laughs> I'm a VR bigot. Some of the show there with uh, Marvel Spider-Man. How does it feel? It's uh, surreal. We've been working on it for a while, so yeah. uh, it's nice to uh, be here and obviously we show. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, creative director so of Spider-Man. <laughs> and the next question is, our next question is, uh, can we play the open world? And Adam's gonna show off the that's right. uh, New York City. I mean, I don't know. No, so my thought my thought process that, is the weird, yeah. deep yeah. world building in Dark Souls yeah. that's nonsensical yeah. is a game that's just explore this weird European yeah. building yeah. and find weird yeah. spooky yeah. stuff, yeah. probably. So, I mean, I'll give that a shot so, yeah. if it's yeah. not in VR. Is, you know, a lot of people were like, last year's E3 was like, well, was that, was that like just a linear level? No, like that's our, that was our Manhattan. That's our New York City. And it has to be a very main story. I'm not the only one that heard that, yeah? <laughs> no, no, you're not. No. So, Joey, you actually missed during the Ubisoft... It's still going! During the Ubisoft presentation, there were several audio kerfuffles. Um, yeah, like you could hear after two of people wa um, walked off stage, you could hear them going, We did great! That went perfect! Yeah, you heard two people as after they'd walked off stage saying, That was great! We nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, it was, it was it wasn't like an it was like a it was it was very earnest and cute honestly. Because they're clearly nervous and they pulled it off and they did a good presentation. Big thing is again, you know, I think that part of the Spider-Man fantasy is to swing around New York City. This is great. There's a ghost in every one of us. In that world, and we want to, you know. Yeah, no, I wasn't the only one. Like I told, I was like informing my friends that it's not over yet, and Jake was just like, was that Bloodborne VR? It's like, no, he's like, oh, it looks like the doll's outfit. 
living uh, within New York City and seeing that. So, um, you know, Adam is one of uh, he's Oops. one of our combat pro players. Uh, combat, combat pro. And, uh, <laughs> That's because he's he does combat awesome design. That, so he's um, good at the game. Yeah. The answer is he is the best. Actually, he is the best at this game. I'm too that good at the game. Did you see how much damage you just took from that? Yeah, I didn't. Was it like a quarter or something? It was at 110 before that. Wow. Yeah. And he got shot and okay. dropped a half. Either they have dev tools switched on, or you get all your health back when you complete a mission. Because right in the last yeah, frame saw, before, yeah, went back to yeah. 130. I'm guessing it's just when you finish a mission. Every week I feel like I'll take the game home or I'll be playing one night and then I'll come in and say, wow, guys, I didn't know you Go for the orange so one. That's the color of good wool. There's that sandbox nature to it as well. So, I mean, obviously you can, you know, we have... Where's the Empire State Blitz right there? We gotta go climb it. You know, his acrobatics, his webs. It's literally all we care about. <laughs> they already show. They already swing around. Is that New World Trade Center? I think that's New World Trade Center. You know, Spider-Man is a very expressive character. We want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. It's gorgeous. These animations, sorry, these animations are just blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for character animation. And for, you know, just I thought he was going to face I can't believe that guy stopped fast enough for that. <laughs> that guy's like, what? Why are you not dead? Oh, I mean, I think animation definitely been one of the hallmarks of our, of our company, you know, from, you know, from Spyro. That's one of his old backpacks. A backpack. See, well, you know how the gag is, oh, Spider-Man, he loses all of his backpacks because he throws yeah. them somewhere and sticks them with a So one of the collectibles in this game is Peter's old backpacks. That's they don't have old memorabilia in them. That's, that's funny. Exactly, we took that kind of mentality and... I see the gang members. kind of our personality... I'm sure the answer is not going to mean anything to me because I don't know much about comics, but which Spider-Man is this? Uh, new Spider-Man. Oh, he's just a new one? New, no, this is not, this is not, I mean, I'm sure this is pulled from, like, I'm sure this is inspired it, it said, by certain comic It said all the guys I've put away in the last eight years, though, so this is older, punished, now Spider-Man. No, this, this Spider-Man is, is totally new version of the character who yeah. has been doing this for a while. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, just the fluidity of just moving over great distances. Very he, has, he has been Spider-Man for eight years, and he is out of college, and he's working at a... That, that guy's, guy's dead! dead! <laughs> oh, no, Spider-Man. That was something that they talked about, that people talked about during the demonstration a couple of E3s ago, when he kicked that guy off, and then Spider-Man shot a web at him and pulled him back in, and people were like, oh, I bet that's automatic. Nope. It's not! Oh. That that man is oh, dead. The game like changes as you go on. It's like the more people you kill, like you get a scene of him sitting there drinking, and he's like, "What have I become?" <laughs> the Tomb Raider. <laughs> he's got like he's got the 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 Mass Effect. Like he starts looking all evil. Oh man, yeah. He's the glowing getting, cracks in his face. Cracks. He starts to look more like Darth Pockets. He, he gets the he gets the yellow eyes. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. He, nope, no, no, he, that guy, he, he died, died too. Rest in peace, dude. <laughs> he went out of his so way to kill that guy. He shot web at him and made it look like he was going to save him and then threw him further away. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see one where he's literally just gonna like use a web to sling someone towards the ground and hurl them towards the earth. Okay. Thank you. The team works really, really hard. Uh, that might have also been murder. Yeah. So one of the details they talked about about story stuff was like that um, Peter and Mary Jane aren't seeing each other anymore because of all of this. Because he's kind of busy. Yeah. And at the beginning of this game, Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin, aka the Kingpin of Crime, who runs all organized crime in New York City, he is finally arrested. So at the very beginning of the game, he approaches Mary Jane and he's like, "Hey, I might be I don't have to do so much spider manning anymore. Maybe maybe I can have more of a normal life and maybe we can try something again." Ooh. And uh, clearly, that goes super well for him. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting beat up. But, uh, but, you know, yeah. that, that's good that, to know that hopefully like the combat just won't be like a cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy's dead too. He is taking a lot of damage here. You guys are right. Keep kicking them off, Spider-Man. Be the hero. Why yeah, is it that, I'm a hero. Why is it that most of these guys are coming at you with fists, but that one guy had a law rocket launcher? <laughs> This stun effect is is awesome. Brutal. Yeah. This is a really good stun grenade special effect. Like it's it's different and it does its job. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, speaking of Fisk, oh wait, so is yeah. this this gonna have suit powers? Uh, well, maybe. 
just, you know, normal course development, we kind of find those spots in the game where... They said there's gadgets and whatnot. I don't think they said, like, there are a bunch of suits. No, actually, they did say there are suits you can unlock, and each of them has, like, a unique attack or two, but that's it. Okay. So, like, there's, there's, a, there's a punk rock Spider-Man costume where he has, like, spikes on, yeah. and he has a guitar, and there are attacks that he performs with the guitar. That's and then pretty cool. That's when you get the, like, pre-ordering. Pre yeah. The other one you get with the pre-order is the is Iron the Spider suit from, from Infinity War, but they've said it will not have the legs from Infinity War. It's going to be mostly just cosmetic. Okay. okay. That's good. You don't want it to change up the play style the, too much. Well, no, the legs... Well, number one, that, that's a lot to program. Number two, the legs are too much for Spider-Man unless he's in that setting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the reason everybody freaked out in, in Homecoming. They're like, oh, no, please. Please don't give him that costume. And when people saw him in that costume in the Avengers trailers, they're like, oh, no. Oh, no, this is gonna ruin it. But it was like, in that setting, he needed it, as long as he never uses it again. <laughs> yeah. I just can't wait to tell, uh, for them to tell us that we just spent all of our memory on Totinos. So yeah, it's obviously showing a whole bunch of like side mission, like you know all those. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I th I thought he was just, <laughs> just throwing that one. onto the. Street. I thought it was gonna be the opening of Civil War <laughs> to keep it on theme, keep it on brand. What happens if he doesn't sink those shots and it just blows up? On He's been doing this for eight years, Joey. He's good. He's too good now. He's very what confident. What if it just blows up on like a He's Kirito, Joey. He's just the best. Can he dual wield? No. Oh. There's a great comic somewhere. It's like you know, supposedly like oh you know Peter Parker always so unlucky, right? Which I've I talked about in the Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough over on our second channel, Research Runs. Go and check it out. About how like the story structure of, of Spider-Man is always interesting because like it's at its most interesting when Spider-Man is into when his Spider-Man life is interfering with his Peter Parker life and vice versa, right? Yeah. yeah. Like when he has to make sacrifices as one of his versions to accomplish things as the other. Um, and uh, there's a great comic where the Human Torch is talking with Spider-Man and he's like, "Man, I can't, I can't believe you, Peter. You're so." lucky you like you you've got you you know you're so smart you're so talented you've got a brain as bigger as big as dr fantastic you're so talented you built all these powers yourself and just getting a hand instead of just getting the hand of them random me like me you got to you were raised by an incredible woman like aunt may and the babes dude the women that i've seen you with i just i just don't understand it man i don't understand how you can be this lucky i call it the parker luck you're just your life just seems so incredible and spider-man is just like wait what I don't know who that is. I think it was the person from the EA conference, the lady. This dude's just like flipping. Y'all see that? I saw. With Spider-Man and with actually, I want I want to see somebody die on like the camera's on just the wrong person and somebody dies. I mean, I actually want to see a game over screen. We sneakily snuck on a few amazing people onto our program as a helicopter goes by to mark this amazing moment. Spider-Man is on the helicopter. To my left, and Nate Fox, gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for coming over. Yeah, absolutely. That's the logo for Tsushima. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm so glad you're able to give us some. Are we gonna see anything? Are they just gonna talk about it? The only reason I will say PlayStation beat um, beat Microsoft on this is just because like RE2. No, just I know you don't care. Because kidding. most of their games were exclusive, unlike Xbox, where they were all timed exclusive. That's the thing. Yeah, hidden beside and behind yeah, the we're going exclusive. That, yeah. The the show. Xbox's show was better and yeah. had more cool stuff and yes. more surprising stuff. But that was because they couldn't between, fit everything in here. Between the two, if I was going to buy one console, I'm it's still going to buy a PlayStation yeah. 4. Because yeah, I can get Devil May Cry on uh, 5 on PlayStation 4. But, uh, I mean, honestly, you know, you would buy a Switch because all these games are better on the uh, Switch. I mean, it's, they're all perfect. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima would be perfect for the Switch. Yeah, no, dude, it it like, would run okay, at like 3 frames per second. Okay, it gets ready to do the, like, the sword slash. You... you you click, you switch, you take it out, and you put it by your side, and then you whoosh! Is this the footage we just saw, and they're just yeah, gonna talk absolutely. over it? Yeah, Okay. Okay, I I'm, think it's time to wrap this I'm up. I'm skeptical about turning this off, because I'm afraid that Metroid Returns will show up, like, ten minutes later after they show Pokemon <laughs> no, for an hour. No, Metroid Returns was, was pretty quickly after. It was, like, 20 minutes I'm after. I'm sure I it's remember watching it afterwards. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can probably yeah. say, I'm sure we can safely wrap this up. Hey, guess what? They did the thing that I wanted them to do with Kingdom Hearts that I never expected them to do with Kingdom Hearts. They just made it Black Flag? Yeah. No, no, I just mean that they did Pirates again, and they did Pirates right. Yeah. The only question now is what they just, do... I'm kind of... Uh, 
Um, I'm kind of ticked off that it's World's End and not Dead Man's Chest. Well, no. Dead Man's Chest is a better movie. No, the question is, will it be both? It is an orchestra. Maybe. Yeah, like no, probably not. But and, uh, what if they just show up and they're like, hey, it's time for Dead Man's Chest plot sword. We here's the recap of we here's the recap of what happened in Dead Man's Chest. Now we'll do a World's End. Um, okay, yeah, he cut it in half. That's what I missed the first time. Yeah, I, was like, he he sliced his I kept trying to find a good opportunity to make a Princess Mononoke joke, but it didn't really give me one because there wasn't a direct parallel to be pulled. Um, and now, because this guy's actually going to murder everyone. How many maple leaf trees are instead of trying to stay neutral? Like, is there going to be one near every like big fight? That would be hilarious. That'd be awesome. Now you are absolutely right about um, uh, Dead Man's Chest being a better film than at World's End. But which one is a better video game? World's End. That aesthetic style. The 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 of the, the desert. The of desert location the desert. and the final big shootout. Yeah. Is, I can understand is a better that, yeah. video game because you can't play that fight in the wheel. That fight no. in the wheel is awesome to watch. You can't play that fight. Oh my gosh, this game looks so good. This was like the only besides Spider-Man, which I already knew I was probably. Did you hear buy. that? They brought in some cultural guys and appropriated them. <laughs> Dude, yeah, but this was the only game that went from I'm I'm not really sure about this to I am definitely buying this. Well, because we knew nothing before. Yeah, I know, but it was a game that I am now going to play. This period. is a, this is a this is a good couple of last years for the PS4. Yeah, I still yeah. feel like this generation overall has been really weak. Yeah, it's just now hitting its stride and it's almost over. But this this these are gonna be good. I mean, Death Stranding might be terrible. I still haven't seen nearly yeah. enough of that to care. I mean, I care because I, I like mean Kojima. we missed like half the trailer because I, you know I don't think we we, we, for we ran defense. out of Totino's we memory. The baby transformed into a mech suit for for Norman. Reedus. I thought you were gonna say a magical girl. Kawaii. Oh, they've been studying kendo. Oh man. They brought in they brought in Sugaha to teach them all about kendo. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> we're not bringing that back. I won't allow it. What are you talking about? My audience. Our audience members love it when we talk about Sword Art Online. How That's can right, you be folks. so sure? Sword Art Online. You thought we were done with this. I, I, I know you're done with it because I'm about to stop the capture. No. Metroid Returns could show up at any moment. I, uh, no one's that dumb but Nintendo, okay? Metroid Prime 5 is going to show up right now. Right after Ghost. See, the only things. thing... What are a few more things? The only thing I'm kind of annoyed about for Nintendo is that everything's been leaked already. Like, I feel like their big thing was going to be Star Fox Racing. That got leaked. Fortnite already got leaked. You already got, um, freaking both the Pokemon games leaked early. Even though I know they already showed those. There's, there's, the Kojima just walked past the camera. Holy crap. Kojima didn't, he was there, he was there, Toei just walked, just walked right by. Just casually. I thought that man in suit was about to kill the cameraman. Like, he was coming with a stride. Wait, they're moving to the next part of the experience. Everybody's still being, what the heck? Everybody's still being shuffled to the, there, so there are sets for each of the games. So like that, those, that Spider-Man stuff was supposed to be like in Central Park, right? Yeah. Or okay. something, and now and now we're moving on to the to, 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 to set. Yeah. <laughs> the Neo Two set. Okay, now I'm very skeptical about this style of presentation because yeah. I'm very unclear about. Now this is weird. When this is over and what. And we're this is to just show. so much money. Now to be fair, they're kind of doing the Nintendo Treehouse thing, but they didn't say that. And it's not like all within their big area at the actual show. Floor. Media molecule dreams. Oh, I told God. you we couldn't turn it off! <laughs> We're gonna have to show dreams! It's a dream! <laughs> You knew it! I told it! <laughs> I told you! Oh boy. I told you they were going to show Metroid Returns. Shut up. Hey, have they shown anything yet? Have they announced This is the first time that anyone has said Dreams in like three years. They they announced this game before we saw the PS4. They announced this like at the PS4 conference. I, I was oh, unaware. <laughs> this was one of the first things they announced. And how many people still care? No one. But I want. I want to know. <laughs> I want them to say it's coming out on January 29th, 2018. 
I mean, we're showing this at E3. It's so Is this VR? We are. No. We've no. got um, press uh, hands on. So I think uh, dr dreams, you can create anything. Literally, people ask me, like, can we make um, games? Can we make movies? And the answer is always yes. And in fact, tonight we're going to be doing a live music show and made puppet, in dreams. Yeah, yeah. They're doing a live yeah. dreams yeah. music show. Yeah. No, you don't understand us. This is basically the reason this is taking so long is because they're building a little big planet that isn't bound to a platforming system. It's just it's just an easy to use 3D model asset cutscene creator game creator everything. And I can say not easy to use. They claim it's easy to use. You see all these weird structures you're seeing on screen here? Yeah. Because supposedly you will be able to use the touchpad on the DualShock 4 to literally draw, like, textures. And that's why everything kind of has this weird brush okay. shape to it. Because it'll be uh, like you're, it'll be like you're dragging your finger through digital clay. sounds like clay some Wii U justification it out. here. Yeah, and just like Star Fox Zero, it's coming out too late. Yeah. <laughs> Play a platform game. If you can what are you talking about? Story, Star Fox Zero was great, right? Star Fox Zero saved great. the Wii U single-handedly. Yeah, it's it saved it. But yeah, and it's like and it's like everything that you build is like great. That's an asset that goes on the not Unreal Store, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it has music tools in it. It has cutscene tools in it. It has game career. That's the thing. We don't know what this game is. It's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> you see what? See this weird stuff that's going on with yeah. this model over here? Yeah, this is holy crap! They just made a platform. This is what they were showing like five years ago, but it was like, great, is you're, this real? You're right. They actually did a Spamus returns. I apologize. I told you Samus was gonna come back. I have zero interest in this, but I have interest in seeing what. So Jacob, exactly. so Jacob, exactly. since we're not gonna have much time tomorrow, what do you expect from Nintendo that hasn't been already leaked? Sonic um, Adventure Overcooked Two Remake. Two. Sonic Adventure Two Remake, no. absolutely. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, Sega's already... not gonna give the fans what they want. Well, I mean, I will say Sega they already hasn't... did that. They made yeah. Sonic Mania. That took. Yeah, you're right. Do you know how wild it is that that happened? All, any and all, like, miracles from Sega are done forever because of Sonic, uh, Sonic, uh, Mania. Oh, it did so good, though. No, but I mean, like, I mean, I know what you're saying. it's not gonna happen again. I know. They're gonna take they that- sh They should look at it and be like, huh, this is successful. But what they're gonna say is, huh, this is successful. Scrap it. No, Throw no, it in the garbage. No. What they're gonna say is they're gonna look at the numbers and say, huh, this is successful. More Sonic Mania. Specifically. Yeah. What we should do is, hey, we should let our studios make a Sonic Mania. Uh, that's what that's what the men look in the suits looking at numbers will say. When are say. we playing Sonic Forces on here? <laughs> Whenever you want, It's like man. two hours of trash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you ever seen speedruns for it, though? They're incredible. Yeah. Because you can, no, like, legit. Like... 3D Sonic, like, you, like, boost through one spot and, like, go through the world and jump through and can beat, like, levels in, like, 40 seconds. Like, it's amazing. So seriously, what it's, do you It's a game from... built for speedrunning. What do you expect from Nintendo, Jacob? Okay. Um, I expect Mario Odyssey DLC of some kind. Dude, nice. <laughs> Dude, sweet. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah, they already announced it. It's called Assassin's Creed Origin. <laughs> I mean, not Origin. Odyssey. 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 I'm tired. <laughs> it's late. I've hey, been in a hot you're building you're, all day. You're dreaming. <laughs> um, I think I think Mario Odyssey DLC makes sense. Uh, we're gonna get obviously a release date and and more roster information on Smash 4.5. I think we're gonna see maps from the 3DS version. Are we gonna get a new character in, announced right? for Smash 4.5? Multiple. Yes. We've I mean, they did seven. Mega Man like the year before Smash came out. They've got they've got to confirm. I mean, Snake was revealed in the first trailer for Brawl. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna see like confirmed Two. anybody who's ret returning. Rayman confirmed and someone else confirmed. Anybody That's who's returning guess. from the roster for four we'll see right away. Is yeah. Ridley gonna be in this one? No. People are convinced he will be. People have been convinced Ridley will be in it since literally melee. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which was announced during the showcase, and we had uh, some great stuff. Tetris Effect uh, earlier in the week as part of Countdown to E3, and a lot of other great stuff. Too. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, y'all hear about that tech? Uh, that uh, wow. What? Wow, wow, in my head. It's just gone. Tetris, the new Tetris. Yeah, I haven't there. seen I heard people I see all I've seen is everybody's excited, but I haven't seen a They're single They're excited because it's being made by the dude that makes res. Oh now I'm excited. <laughs> the VR that VR ghost game looks cute. Yeah. I don't know. I I'm, I can't think about Nintendo. My head is full of Sony right now. No one likes Sony. No, not, not Triforce. Like I, I just I just mean like my my headspace isn't in the right spot. Sorry. We'll see that start that we'll see that Star Fox Grand Prix game. 
because um, that's probably real at this point. Um, I, I I don't feel like your 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 Zelda asset flip. No, not prediction not is. this year. It's next year. You think you'll see the Zelda asset yeah, flip? Yeah, I just want to go ahead and call it in case it, they they blow my mind that it's this year. I wouldn't be shocked because I know it it's happened, going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen at some point, so as, I'm going to go ahead and call as, it. As we discussed, it's more likely than ever. Because ever since Ocarina and Majora's Mask, it's like they did they did Wind Waker, and people didn't like it at the time. So they had to make something more realistic, so they couldn't do it for that one. So they so they went on to Twilight Princess, and they couldn't do a flip of Twilight Princess on the Wii because everybody just said, why isn't this what we wanted on the Wii? Why isn't this one-to-one -one sword controls? So they spent five years building that, Yeah. and then they did Skyward Sword, and then people said they, I hate this. Yeah, and then so then they started on Breath of the Wild, and that took a decade. Not really, but like yeah. you know. So, but yeah, yeah. So this is the first time that I feel like a palette swap would work because yeah. it's the it's the not first a, a, an Alice, not a palette swap an, an asset, asset swap. Flip. My bad. Asset flip is the. Oh uh, yeah, the my term. my bad. I'm sorry. There it is. Because it's the first time that they've had one that's like universally acclaimed that they can do a quick flip on a new console. Oh, shoot, I didn't know they were making Echo to Dolphin too. <laughs> It's but, Astro Boss, yeah, see, not Hydro I'm, I'm figuring, I'm figuring there's got to be one more big thing, which I'm guessing is going to be New Animal Crossing. Make it the oh, right, I thought you were talking about here. I was yeah, no, no. no. no I was to yeah, Animal, Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. It's going to be New Animal Crossing, I feel like. It's the, That's it's easy. The, it's the whole thing where there, we still, they, again, they keep talking about big game about their lineup for this year, and we haven't seen enough for me to be convinced. So New Animal yeah, Crossing. Yeah, because right now it's just Smash, Pokemon, and Star Fox Grand Prix, if it's real. Um... I, I don't know. I have more predictions, and they're just not coming to my head for Nintendo. We'll, yeah. we'll see when it happens. We'll just have to be honest about whether or not, you know, we, we can't just go, I called it for everything. We'll have yeah. to be honest about if we And I'm guessing did. Metroid Prime 4, if we get anything, it'll be another teaser. Yeah, it's, and they might give us a trailer. but And then next year will be the big blowout for Holiday 20. Will Samus be released? Yes. All right. Okay. Predictions. I, not extensively. I feel like it'll be. Will Samus be uh, the like dubbing over the footage? No, hopefully not. It's not like I know these things though. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, um, uh, of course, duh. The the, the big e my, my my big lock in 100% prediction for Nintendo at E3. Um, uh, HD remaster of uh, Twilight, um, um, A Thousand Year Door. Yeah! And I'll hate it. And I'll hate it because they'll use the, the sticker star and color splash art style. They're not going to do that and because I'll they can't admit that it was a good game. And even if they, I, I even just if wanna... they do that and I hate it, I'll still buy 16 copies of it just so that they know oh, to yeah. make more games like that. I forgot. Even I for... if I have to stomach the art style, I just want those scripts. I, I, I forgot. Pikmin and that 4. gameplay. Pikmin, Pikmin 4, 4, maybe. Who knows? It might be Pikmin 4 and not Animal Crossing. I still think that the turn-based combat system in Thousand Year Door is... The greatest not, ever. Not, yes. not super hard, but it is one of the best basic structures of a turn-based combat game, like, period. Yeah, no, absolutely. it is the best. I'm sorry. Of a, of a traditional JRPG turn-based combat. I like an RTS really like how Bravely or Default or is looking. Because it's... Um, not Bravely Default. Octopath. Uh, yeah, Octopath. Because it's a cross between Bravely Default and Persona. We'll probably see more Octopath Honestly. tomorrow. Honestly. Because it's all about hitting weaknesses, but is at the same time... Switch exclusive? Yes. yes. Okay. But at the same time, it's about stalking... Um, attacks and and hitting them with multiple attacks in order to break weaknesses it's not just like in persona where you just hit them with one weakness and they're down okay what what oh, oh. now nah, i'm done why did twitch decide that was the time to stop nope. showing their broadcast was nope. there nope oh man all right nope 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 and why were they why were they in total darkness no parents super rich kind of makes it better that was a Lego I know. movie yeah. reference I know. I for anybody on the, the internet. Goodbye. <laughs>